In this module, I will be showing you how to make an handkerchief sleeve. In making an handkerchief sleeve, I have my pattern paper folded and I folded this into four, okay? I have my first fold in a vertical form. Then I have my second fold in an horizontal form, like so. So this fold is for a 360 degree circle. So if you are making a full circle, full circle skirt or full circle sleeve, this is the way you should fold your pattern. First fold, vertical, second fold, horizontal or vice versa. It can be vertical, horizontal and horizontal, vertical, but not vertical, vertical or horizontal, horizontal. Now that I have my pattern paper folded, the next step is to decide the measurement I'll be using. The two basic measurements needed in making an handkerchief sleeves are the radius and the sleeve length. In getting the radius, this has to be with the formula of a full circle. The value used in achieving the radius of a full circle is 6.28. If you have gone through my intermediate level course, in some of the videos, I explained how you can achieve a full circle and an half circle. Okay, the formula used in achieving the radius for a full circle and radius for an half circle. So for the full circle, the radius used is 6.28. This value is standard. So if you want to learn more about this, kindly go through my intermediate level course. I gave you in full and details how we arrive at 6.28. As this will help you to cut any form of circle, either half, that is 180, 360, 720, 144. Just mention any circle cuts. You'll be able to achieve them. So in this tutorial, the armhole circumference measurements I'm working with is 25 inches. And I got the 25 inches with the basic bodice block I have here. So I took the measurements of the armhole from the front to the back, purposely because I'll be attaching the sleeve to this bodice. So which means you have to do this after cutting your bodies, take the measurement you have on the bodies in order to get an accurate result. So that when you are attaching your sleeve, there will not be shortage or excess. So now I have 25 inches as the arm o circumference measurement. And the value using in getting the radius is 6.28 for a full circle. So which means I will be dividing 25 by 6.28, which gives me 3.9. Okay, so I will be inserting 3.9 from the midpoint I have on my pattern paper. Don't forget, I folded this into four, vertical first, then horizontal. So with this, I'm going to have a midpoint, which is going to be the center of my pattern paper. So from the center, I will be inserting 3.9 all around like so. So I'll be taking this all around and I will make sure my measuring tape doesn't get shifted from the midpoint which is the center so it has to be exactly on the point Now I have my radius of 3.9 inches marked all around, as you can see. So the next step is to connect the dotted lines together. So now that I've connected the dotted lines together, the next step is to take this hook by half of an inch. The half of an inch is the same allowance I will be using in attaching this to the bodies. So guys, now I have the radius constructed, as you can see. So the next step is to confirm the measurement I have on my radio. So please, this is very important so that you will not have any issues when attaching your sleeve to the bodies. 
confirm the measurement you have here and make sure you have equal measurements with the one you have on your bodies so i'll be taking the measurement all around like so okay after taking the measurements i have on my radius then i will multiply it by four after multiplying it by four it must be equal to the 25 inches i have for the armhole so which means after taking your value here you have to multiply it by four which must equal to the armhole circumference measurement you are working with so now that this is done the next step is to insert the sleeve length so now the sleeve length will be taken from the radius point not from the starting point which is the center of the pattern paper okay and this measurement has to be taken on the real the real value i inserted not on the seam allowance point so i will take this from here downward so your sleeve length has to do with your preference this is not a standard measurement it depends on how long you want the sleeve to be or how short you want it to be it can be shorter or longer you can make it lesser than 11 inches or more than 11 inches so please but please make sure you confirm your fabrics before drafting your pattern So here I have 11 inches marked. Then from here as well, I will take the measurement I have here. So you can see what I have here is not up to 11 inches. I have 9.5 inches. This means I cannot use 11 inches as my sleeve length. So what am I trying to explain is after folding your pattern paper, you have to take the measurement you have left here. What you have here is what will determine the length of your sleeve. Okay. Also, if you know you cannot do this with your pattern paper in order to save your pattern paper, you can do this directly on your fabrics because there is no much markings so that you will know the exact value to insert on your fabric. So that you know the exact value to insert on your fabric. You will know what you have left. So once you take this measurement at the shorter part of the fabric or pattern paper. So whatever you have left is what will be the sleeve length. So here I have 9.5 inches. So I will measure 9.5 inches downward instead of 11 inches. So from the 9.5 inches. I will have my seam allowance. So which means the 9.5 inches is together with my seam allowance. I will be making use of 1 inch as my seam allowance. So which means the sleeve length is 8.5 inches. So from the radius point here, I will insert 9.5 inches. Like so. So from this side also, I have 9.5 inches. So I will take the 9.5 inches downward. So in order to have a perfect straight line, I took the measurement from the hedge. From the hedge to this point, I have 13.375. So from here to here also is 13.375. But from the radius point to this point is 9.5 inches. So now I'll be connecting the two points together. Okay, so now that I have this done, then I will be making a straight line on this side as well. So guys, with this, what I have from this point to this point, which is a folded part of the pattern paper, and what I have from here to here are the same. Okay? So which means when you are making yours or you are drafting your pattern, what you insert here is what will be on this line as well. After getting the length of your sleeve, 
so after getting the length of the sleeve then for the wideness of the sleeve whatever you have from here to here is what you'll be having at the opening of the sleeve which is the lower part from this point to this point so you can see what i have here and you can see what i have here so guys with this i'm done with the drafting of an anchor chip sleeve pattern and i can proceed in cutting it out firstly i will be cutting this house as a whole so i will cut like so you can see the shape i have is like a square shape all sides are equal so i will cut this out first okay so now i will be cutting out the sleeve opening which is the ham hole area so i'll be cutting on the seam allowance line i measured out now i have my pattern cut out and this is what i have after cutting it out so the next step is to open up the sleeve pattern then refold it in an opposite direction initially when i folded this i folded vertical first then horizontal so in this case i will be folding the horizontal positioning to vertical position and the vertical position to horizontal positioning so this is what i'm trying to explain so this is the horizontal folding and this is a vertical folding so when i open it up i have something like this so if i want to fold this back to its original position this is how i will fold the way i folded earlier you can see what i have but now i want to fold in an opposite direction so instead of holding this like so i will be holding this side like this so this is going to be the horizontal now so the vertical position is coming to the horizontal position why the horizontal position is coming to the vertical position you can see what i have so i will have to refold this then press my pattern appropriately okay then i will take this like so The next step is to shape my sleeve pattern in order to give it that handkerchief look. So this shaping I'm about to show you is what makes this an handkerchief sleeve. So I will come to this side which is the center. Then I will take the measurement I have there from this point downward to the hemline. Then here I have 10 inches then i will come to the other side which is the opening side the open side and i will insert the same 10 inches from the shoulder line which is the starting point here and i have it here can you see what i have then i will take my stretch ruler then connect this point which is the 10 inches point to the m line point i have on the other side this point like so can you see what i have so with this what i have at the lower part here is going off so i will trim this off this is a standard way of making an anchor chief sleeve but if you have a particular preference you are working with you can as well reduce the measurement you have here so it is not necessary you have the same value here and on this side you can make this shorter let's assume i want to use eight inches for this side you can as well make that decision when you are taking your measurement you can decide you can make a decision on where you want the shorter part to stop when you are taking the sleeve measurement okay so here i can make it shorter than what i have here so i have eight inches now so i'll be connecting the eight inches point to this point So the effect of this is going to be different from the previous one. So this is going to give us more anchor chief sleeve than the previous shape. Can you see what I have? 
so if i'm making use of the eight inches points so that means i will be cutting on this line so this part will be shorter while this will be longer so now the next step is to cut on one of the lines i can cut here or here so now i will proceed in cutting out the shape so i will be going for the second line which is the eight inches point 